Just when I thought I was up, they pulled me back in. Oscar talk. So I've seen some stuff floating around the news I want to talk about. It. Make sure you click that subscribe button. I'm John Stark from MacMovieGuy.com. I'm a blind film critic, and I saw the Oscars. So did everybody else. And apparently, the internet was not happy with Al Pacino. I get it. We're so ingrained in hearing that, and the Oscar goes to... <sighs> Like, the thing we wanted to hear, you know, this, like, big dramatic moment for Best Picture. And Al Pacino just kind of was like, uh, Oppenheimer. <laughs> just kind of, like, opened the card and looked at it. And people were like, what? What just happened? Like, did we win? <laughs> like, what? The music took a second to, like, cue in. Uh, I thought it was pretty obvious. He opened the, the, the thing and he said Oppenheimer. He just didn't say, and the Oscar goes to. He read one title. Um, it was the title everybody was project like expecting. It's not like he opened the title and was like, hmm, uh, Anatomy of a Fall. <laughs> you know, where you're like, is that alphabetical? Is he reading off the titles? <laughs> is, did it win? <laughs> It's like, well, he's certainly not starting in O's, so I don't know, like, what else did you think? Did he, did somebody hand him Killian Murphy, Christopher Nolan, Robert Downey Jr.'s card? I Anyway, so what, what was discovered was that Michelle Pfeiffer was supposed to go on stage with him to recreate a Scarface moment, which was hilarious because they really, po they really pushed the Godfather angle for him, um, I guess as like a last minute pivot. And uh, they just kind of let Pacino... The thing is, either Pacino has the gravitas to present by himself and you stand by it, or don't bitch. You know what I'm saying? Like, like let him uh, let him do his thing. He's, uh, he's a legendary actor. But I, I made this video because I thought this was ridiculous. So the, the concept of Michelle Pfeiffer, she said, oh, she canceled at the last minute and they, they couldn't find a replacement. They couldn't find a replacement? Look out in your audience. <laughs> like you <laughs> I love that argument. I've seen that argument a lot. I had to make a video. I was like, oh my Jesus. What in the <laughs> they couldn't Do you know how many fucking people have worked with Al Pacino? <laughs> like, I know you want to make a Scarface moment, but you were perfectly fine pivoting to Godfather when Michelle Pfeiffer wasn't there in the stand. You were like, well, what's the most obvious? Oh, Godfather. Cool. Yeah. Let's talk about the Godfather. Um, so you could have pivoted to anything. Like there's so many co-stars of his that had to be out there in the audience that you just pull up. On, are you telling me that the only co-star that he's ever been with was Robert De Niro, who you didn't pull up on stage because he's nominated for killers. Like he's in a, he's in a best picture nominee. Like, uh, you could have pulled up Chris O'Donnell and done a scent of the scent of a woman. <laughs> you know, it's just, it was was Chris in attendance? Um, that would have been really cool. We haven't seen Chris in a while uh, in cinematic form, anyway. Um, and uh, I don't know. There's just it's 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 Pacino, man. Like the dude has been in so many films with so many directors. I just. It was Brian, you know, I just, I don't know. Find someone. Francis Ford Coppola, Brian De Palma. Uh, I, I, I know we can't do the Scorsese and De Niro thing with the most obvious because of Killers. I'm guessing that's the reason why they couldn't announce with him. Because my immediate pivot would have been, let's do Heat and bring De Niro up here on stage, please. Um, but, yeah. So, especially since uh, people keep wanting Heat to the novel to be made into a film. Anyway, I just wanted to talk about that. I just thought it was ridiculous. Do you think it was ridiculous? That they, <laughs> they're like, well, Michelle canceled at the last minute. We couldn't find. You couldn't find an actor to stand next to Al Pacino that he'd been in a movie with. With that man's resume, <laughs> you couldn't find an actor to stand next to him for that film. My God. Um, or an actor he had worked with, like anything, like a director, like a legendary director, someone, 
and then made a moment out of it and been like celebrating this film of Al Pacino's <laughs> pivot man <laughs> like I could understand if he was like speaking to like an a group of make-a-wish kids and he's the only celebrity and you're like well I was Adam Sandler was supposed to be here so we could do Jack and Jill but he didn't come, so it's just me, <laughs> Al Pacino. I know you, you guys are big fans of Jack and Jill, so we uh, we we said Al Pacino and Al, Adam, but Adam couldn't be here, so now <laughs> it's just Pacino. Um, yeah, it's it was a room full of stars, man. Like seriously, you couldn't. No one. <laughs> I don't know. It's so weird. Anyway, that was my thought. Um, I. <laughs> I wouldn't have said this if I didn't see somebody making the comment where it was like, well, they, you know, they couldn't find anybody. I was like, they couldn't find anybody? <laughs> Please stop talking. Anyway, thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. And um, leave Al Pacino alone. I don't know. He's 83. He did fine. He opened the card and said the right name. It's not like he opened the card and said La La Land. <laughs> so, you know, it's just... Uh, um, yeah, uh, I'll see you guys on the other side.